Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Uh, so this is the fourth episode of the uh, Socotra, Socotra Nestorian game or playthrough that I've been that I started uh, three episodes or four episodes ago. This is the fourth of this uh, series, and so now what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the this civil war to start, the independent civil war. I'm gonna crush uh, some of my vassals and then I'm gonna strip them of their. Uh, their titles and then I'm going to take them for myself and perhaps give them to more loyal people in the future um, so this is a kind of you know a good way to re reset uh, I like you know I like doing um, you know uh, uh, civil war sometimes you know winning them are you know sometimes beneficial you know because like I said they allow you to reset and you know so She's clearly going to rise up against me. Mecca has, you know, traditionally, like, revolted against me. Uh, and I need, in fact, I'm thinking I want to take Mecca because I might even turn it into the capital because it has, you know, a good, you know, investments here. You have uh, mud brick towers. You got, you know, a Hamlet. You got, you know, and they, it, more, more importantly than not, I will not be threatened. They have... Um, uh, uh, you know, really a lot of levies, right? So Mecca has been, you know, kind of traditionally, uh, you know, a thorn on my side or in my side. So I'm just gonna call, go ahead and call all of my allies. Why not? There's no way that they're gonna survive this. I think this is gonna be, you know, a fairly easy um, battle. So we're switching our capital to Mecca uh, once this war is done. So that's gonna help me reset because, you know, as you can see here. The holder of Mecca gets a thousand levies, and then if they unite, and we're around you know three thousand, so if they unite with other vassals, then you're basically you know in a in a bad situation. So why not take this land? You know, so Medina and Mecca should always remain with me. And as you can see here, they're at actually attacking my capital, so I got to be very careful. Um, you know, so that's the thing. Um, you know, let me see who's in command. Hmm. This guy has a lot of prowess. Let's speed things up a little bit. Okay, so hopefully we can catch her. I'll be lenient with the peasants. Sure, we caught her. War is over. That was it. Simple as that. And what we're going to do is we're going to revoke because we can. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, so we caught her, but now the civil war is... Uh, never mind, it's not done. So we caught her, but um, the civil war is not over. Now it's transferred to somebody else. These guys here, I'll, I'll come and get them in Najran. But first, I got to obviously make sure my capital is not besieged uh, or is not captured in a siege. It's, it is besieged, but... Uh, we got to make sure we fix that quick. Um, an independence faction is also brewing against me. So let's go to Najran right now before things are too late. Well, now the Abbasids uh, are attacking or defending. They're defending. Okay, anyways. But uh, yeah, so as you can see here, maybe we can hit Najran somewhere here they're they're actually a, these rebels are actually a, a nuisance okay let's attack them is it just me no yeah so maybe we'll uh we'll attack them here i think najran was going to war with uh they were going into war with the Abbasids or something like that and trying to capture their territory. Now they're coming back from my capital. Wow. That's the thing about Crusader Kings. You gotta be mindful of you know, revolts. Let me see if I can grant this guy something. I don't know, one of those vassals. You'd think maybe he he would leave, right? Okay, let me see. Maybe this guy who's already in 
you know, the faction against me. So yeah, so we got rid of that faction, so it's not going to come anytime soon. Um, now, I want these guys to finish this war quickly, finish it off, capture the capital. Okay, and then large levies, we get plus 20 contribution, that's amazing. And uh, you should hear the clicking sound, I love that, the infamous clicking sound. And what do you have? Uh, we're, um, we're done. We're done, basically. And so Mecca will now, I'm sorry, but you decided to go against me. It's going to cause me some tyranny. Honestly, why not? Really. I, um, you know, this is a really, really important. You have already moved your realm capital once. Okay. At least I have Mecca. That's the most important thing. And it brings up my levies. We're pretty strong now. Very strong, actually. And we're filthy rich. Well, not filthy rich. That's an exaggeration. But we're, uh, we're doing well for ourselves. Who is this? Okay, my heir. My only son. I mean, I can marry him to her. Sure, for the time being, we might we might break that alliance because she's frail, and you know you don't want uh, you don't want bad genes in the family. So, all right. So, what do we have now? Let me see. Actually, who's set to inherit what? Okay, so we got we're fairly decent right now, but we need to rely more on sons, right? So, now let's check the religion situation. Eventually, I'm gonna wanna go on some sort of pilgrimage. I want to increase my piety uh, because I want to start a Cassus Belly, like a kingdom Cassus Belly, which I've never done yet. Sure. So Mecca is now mine. I like that. And uh, probably going to move it to my capital later on. No one right now. I don't think anybody is uh, interested in... I mean, there are people in a faction against me, but I can easily destroy them. So you want a ransom. Sure. Okay, I should be careful who I let out now. Because once you let these guys out, they're like dogs. They'll kind of come back and haunt you later. Look at these guys. How pitiful is it to be, you know, looking... No, I'm not letting you go. How pitiful, though. Is that state of, you know, let me see. Uh, no, I'm not letting you leave at all. I mean, you could convert later on. Look, he's intim he's terrified. They're all whipped now. Um, I think I put them in their place, right? So it's crazy because now we're like, honestly, we're just Socotra. And now we're like definitely not close to the Byzantines or anything. But we're one of the most powerful kingdoms out there. So... Abyssinia is not even close to us. I'd really want to attack these guys eventually. So they're at war with uh, the Byzantines who have their eyes set on somewhere in Africa, I think. Uh, let's see, maybe men at arms. We need onagers. For sieges. I want to eventually get a better army. Ali Muhammad. Okay. All right. Shamim. Where are the titles? We can create the title of uh, Kingdom of Arabia. Um, you know, but we'll we'll keep it at uh, we'll keep it with what we have now. Go on a pilgrimage. It's literally what I wanted to do. Let's go to Jerusalem. I wonder if there's any kind of mechanic or something that you know has to do with the fact that you, p your pilgrimage is where you're in in your home territory. So, no, I don't want to get wounded. Stop this madness. I get scared. You know, he's a little bit old and. 
I'll probably need him. Okay, so he's walked the holy path. Now he's known for his dedication to faith. He needs some while to get to Paragon of Virtue, and uh, he's 54. I don't know if he'll live to see the day. Let's see his son. His son is dutiful. I mean, let's hope he turns into something kind of... Let's hope he amounts to something, right? Because, uh... Let's see what the vassals have to say. What do they think of us? Okay. Please, I hope to God that I can get this kingdom Cassus Belly so I can just capture Egypt and then, you know, we're, we're going to be good to go. Honestly, uh, we'll be very rich with Egypt uh, added to our realms, right? So, and, 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 and it's maybe one day, I don't know, you'll see a capital perhaps in Cairo or something. Right now, we're ruling out of Medina. We're successfully, I think we've successfully converted most of our realm. Now we're going to convert this area here. So this is a... Uh, okay, betrothed can marry. What does the, what happened to the Byzantine Empire? Oh, okay, they lost that chunk of land. I don't know why. My daughter. Okay, the, the good thing is right now we're actually kings. And I'm a king. And that means that, you know, I can actually find some really decent alliances uh, to, you know, um, counter any kind of possible threat. But to be honest with you, the biggest threat coming out of the kind of Muslim world is not, uh, is not actually the Abbasids anymore. Definitely not. I mean, they can definitely call for... A great holy war which you know can basically means that all of these areas around me up to maybe no maybe not trans uh, transoxiana but the taharids the safarids because they're ashari and uh, the aswan uh, africa here you know the kingdom of africa or the sultanate of africa all of these people can actually join a war against me let's see if the zaydis can actually no one holds the position of zaydi head of faith Head of faith is temporal. Okay, so they don't. We don't have to worry about that yet. But I mean, the Zaydis are never have never been a threat. But okay, Africa just broke apart. My problem is is that you know when there's a caliph or caliph, he can easily call for a war against me. But like honestly, at this at this rate, I don't see. I see, you know, my biggest enemies being other Christians, the ones who deemed us heretics in the first place. And the reason why we've been so set back, right? So, okay. Let's see. We're far away from becoming Paragon of Virtue, though. And maybe, maybe it's time for another war on the Abbasids. What do you, I mean, my thoughts are that we should maybe go for the Emirate of Damascus. Yeah. Definitely. They're vastly inferior. We have the upper hand. I mean, there's no denying. And so I think I'm just going to go for it. I think it's, you know, I think it might as well take advantage of that. Because Syria is being eaten up right now by the Byzantines. So it was my aim to eventually become king of Syria. But I think at this rate... You know, maybe it's just time. Maybe it's better to just take duchy by duchy, right? We're gonna have, you know, Damascus, right? Pretty decent on development, though they haven't been developing it. But uh, you can call your allies to war as well. Sure. I mean, I'm not going to, but yeah. Oh, the Abbasids are, are just, you know, everyone is just free. It's a free for all. And I think in large part, it has to do with the first crusade that was launched. I think it really depleted them. And then, you know, I kind of took advantage of that. And it's really, this game is really about taking advantage of or seizing the opportunity. I'm, I don't, not to be cliched or anything, but 
it's uh, it's essentially about you know knowing when the right time is to attack right so uh so i mean they barely got allies they got one ally he's imprisoned and it doesn't change anything to be honest with you okay so let's take Jouer and then we're gonna go to Badalak too in this area here right after okay perfect 38% war score is that all they can muster that's it 32 men in the mountains ooh I gotta get rid of these guys here put them so I should have paid attention to that alright let's get these guys out of here Hmm. I really like the uh, the economic situation too. You know, okay, they're they're fleeing to the sea from Beirut. Now they're changing and they're going to Acre. Uh, we're gonna pursue them. Honestly, I think I'm gonna break the siege, go back here, replenish, and then go back and siege them again because. I don't want to lose manpower, and honestly, it's not like that siege has been going on forever. Oh, no. Just what we were trying to avoid, right? Uh, we were trying to avoid an early death, and now... We're gonna have to uh, account for that. Uh, I, I was hoping that he'd live on for a little bit longer so we can take... You know, the uh, we can build an empire, right? Uh, or, sorry, take Egypt, but it's okay. Let's see now. We got some really solid commanders. Okay, let's go to back to Balbak. Uh, in fact, I think I'm just going to send half those guys there. Okay, so I think this these guys are... Do they keep e evading us? Literally what they do. Okay. Should I go stewardship? Yeah, probably probably uh you know although I, I it would be probably good to invest in some sort of piety okay we only got anga on our side and that's because of her i'm gonna break that betrothal it's gonna cost me 75 i don't care to be honest with you uh, the rata kingdom kingdom of kosala uh you know let's let's marry this uh Duchess here. How how old is she? Eleven. Okay, not she's not super young. So, I mean, obviously she's young, but if I mean for the purpose of this game, <laughs> that you know that means like five years from now I can, uh, you know, they, my character can officially marry her. So, Liberty faction. Oh, how I hate how much I like hate those things. I despise them, but it's okay. Okay, what territory can we give away? Maybe Khaybar or Ataif, perhaps. Najran, Sana'a. No, Sana'a is good. <laughs> Sokotra, maybe. <laughs> no, we'll keep it. It's just symbolic, right? We started off with that. Khaybar. Let's grant it to somebody. Uh, this guy, Talib. Okay, cool. Medina. Where's Mecca? What if we moved our capital here later after the war? Perhaps. Pretty solid choice. Actually, Medina's good too. Medina has, uh, you know, some. brings some levies in, right? So. Maybe we can bring these guys in here. You can call upon your ally. No, not yet. Victory after victory. 25 months for the Liberty Faction. Let's see. We don't have any prisoners to execute. Okay. I'm going to take Badbak though. 
We're literally in the heart of Syria. And modern day Lebanon. Twenty one months. These guys will easily be crushed. No, no problem. It's always nice to win a civil war at the beginning of your like tenure. You know, you can kind of like, I'm known for the dedication to my faith. That's awesome. Maybe uh, I can't go on a pilgrimage because I'm at war. Maybe after this war, we'll do that. So is this, that's the thing. These battles are giving us, no, but like insignificant amount of piety. So it's not that huge. Dude, these guys keep attacking. God, it's uh, pretty annoying. Okay, cool. Just on the brink of... Uh, there we go. We got Valbach. Okay, I'm going to take these guys away just in case. Kind of want to engage with them. 16 months away. So we're at 54%. Cool. All right. Sign. Where are the Abbasids now? They're kind of absent. How many wars are they in? Ah, oh, that makes sense. They're just... I think they're utterly, you know, destroyed at this point. There's nothing. They're not going to amount to anything, really. 11 months for the Liberty Faction to make its demands. But we're kind of going to anticipate them. So who's in, who, who in that Liberty Faction is going to... Let me see. Who's in that Liberty faction and what do they want? Oh boy, she is. Who is she? Amira Padawin of Had of Emirate. Oh, she is pretty strong, so I'm probably gonna definitely take away or revoke her title because, uh, as you can see, okay, I'm gonna keep these guys in Syria and move these guys down here because. As you can see, seven months from now. Maybe I'll attack these guys too. Get some piety, I guess. Okay. Where is she located? Okay, she's in here in the Jouf area. <coughs> We're going to move near her homeland and then maybe we can summon some mercenaries. I think that will be practical. The abysses are done. They're done for. Kind of, I'm kind of tempted to give her those vassals, but. She's going to get more powerful. I don't want that thorn on my side. So we are the... the uh, upon my father's death, the kingdom of Arabia was created. So now we got two kingdoms, which means that if we have a son, and that's the main one, if we have a son, we got to make sure that that's... Or two sons, we got to make sure that one of them is disinherited. You know, because you don't want to risk a call to war. Sure. Sure. You don't want to risk, uh, you know, more problems, right? What's going on here with the uh, Abbasids? I'm really grateful to have a really strong commander. That's been a super good thing for me.
Okay, so she... Where is she? Okay, so we spawn beside her home. Ah, oh, we lost that guy though. You know what? This is what we can do. This is the... I kind of... You know, that was a good thing. We kind of predicted that from, from the onset. We can do the company of Miro. You know, don't spend too much money here on them. Let's see. Their commander is not terribly, you know, amazing. But why did he stop, though? Now, they hired their mercenaries, I believe. That means we might have to actually... Summon these guys eventually. There's multiple wars here. I'm going to definitely call upon my allies. In the Liberty War. <clears throat> Hopefully we can capture her. Excellent. And I don't mind, like I said, I don't mind civil wars, but as long as they don't, uh, you know, as long as you don't lose them, but sometimes they're really good. It's just the, the terrible thing is that I usually have the tendency of getting them in the middle of, uh, I have a tendency of getting them in the middle of like an actual war that I'm fighting. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to summon these guys. Unfortunately, but uh, it's a good thing I noticed. No, oh, that's terrible. Terrible news right there. Okay, pull out. Okay, I'm going to tell them to pull out. Wasn't paying attention to that. It's okay. I'm going to... I'm going to crush them. All right. War profiteer. Because we're at war, so we might as well profiteer. Or profit. I think I can win this battle. For sure, yeah. For sure. And, uh... Should I do more mercs? Uh, possibly, yeah. Okay. This is a, a clear victory for us. Okay, that was the stupidest thing I've ever done. That was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Okay. We got to replan our strategy now. So what happens if I if they get a white piece? Okay. So we lost Damascus, we lost all of those provinces. Uh, honestly, this was poor, I would say this was a, this is a question of poor strategizing, nothing else. I think we could have won this, but uh, at this point, 
I don't know if we will. So um, we'll try one more time. I mean, let's try. I don't give up on wars that easily. The thing is uh, where I have no choice is when the... Uh, I think they're gonna... Yeah, we're done. Surrender. Hmm. Now the... Oh, I could have... Okay, I could have... I don't know, I could have won that, but I think it's just the really poor strategizing that led me to that situation. But, you know, whatever. Let's, uh... Let's continue our war with the uh, Abbasids. You win some, you lose some, right? Honestly, it's just a crown war. Um, the next time I'll be allowed to change it. We're just missing the prestige. That's what it is. Devoted servant. Okay. In any case, I'm uh, more interested about fighting these guys for the time being. Now I owe each one of them a favor. I'm going to go for the money. Make up for that money that we lost. Okay, we decimated the Abbasid army. That gives us a lot of devotion. I'm going to fight these guys, actually. Because, uh, you know, that this, this these kind of wars give us devotion, right? Okay, we're going to lose the mercs that we we got ourselves. So It was poor planning that led us to that loss, but we I count myself lucky that we didn't it wasn't a uh it wasn't a uh, independence war. That would have been, you know, over, right? So he wants a white piece at this point. I'm not going to give it to him. We're going to take Damascus. And we're going to take this, uh, these provinces in Syria. Okay, let's wait here in Damascus. Okay, we're at 84%. That's good. And I think I'm going to split my troops here. I'm going to send these guys into the mountains there. And in fact... I'm going to send these guys here. Meritocracy, large levies. I'm going to go for large levies too. Right, let's fight the Abbasids one more time. Yeah, we're beginning to lose our... our uh, Mercenaries, as you can see. This war has lasted a while. Pretty unnecessary. I could have ended it earlier. Your culture has discovered Cassus' belly. Oh, that's amazing. We're going to be able to use different sorts of Cassus' belly, too. Okay. I think we can end it in this battle here. Oh my god, look at that. Look who we captured. We can't do anything. Can I execute him? I'm going to execute their caliph. That's pretty cool. I executed the caliph here. And because we're at 97%, I built that dread. Right? So... I wanted to see if I can ransom them, but anyways, that's that's pretty awesome. Okay, so um, wow. Now they're having their own civil wars. It's a new dynasty. I think it's a cadet. Who are they? They're they're the Taglibs. So the caliph, I think, is no more. Let me see. So. Who's that head? So he's just kind of reduced to this small office here, but he no longer controls the realms, which is actually what happened to them. The uh, caliphs, that is, the Abbasids, they became insignificant. So we got a lot of people from this war that we can ransom. But we 
we executed the caliph and i think that was you know i mean i, w I would have liked to ransom him obviously but uh if that means 36 dread why not let the people in my realm at least realize that and i think now if there's a civil war i'm gonna take it on again and i think this time i'm gonna just crush everybody because you know i look and i made up for the money that i lost so that's good you know we'll go back i'll i'll bring back i'll bring back that uh the crown later on honestly it's not that the end of the world because we couldn't even bring it up beyond that by the way you know so the the, the second is the most you know the highest so i'm fine right so okay now i can do the jury other the jury sorts of claims what if i went for these guys okay so no because I'm not the emperor of, um, anyways, of Arabia, right? Uh, so, I got this one alliance with the uh, this duke here. Sure. So, who else is in my dungeons? Who else? Just kill her. Okay, we're building that dread. They don't want to offer me anything for her, then she's dead. And I'm at a hundred percent dread here. So dreadful ruler. Okay. Can I what if I changed now. What's my capital looking like in terms of development and stuff? Well, it's not bad. What's Mecca like? Mecca has okay. Mecca has it's it's much better, actually much more uh, developed than everything, and they invested more into it. So that's the new capital of the Zora uh, of I keep saying Zoroastrian of the Nestorian uh, faith. So. Let's uh, convert Damascus. I think now everyone is kind of mindful of me. Are these guys intimidated? No, but he hates me because I unlawfully executed his family member. I believe it probably... Okay, so now the Abbasids are kind of back... Like they're just fighting each other at this point. Look look at this. Like 54, 90, 75. They're done. They're done for. Honestly, I'm a little bit more worried about the uh, Byzantines at this point. Okay. So let's go on a pilgrimage. Now let's go to Jerusalem. I'm going to bring up my crown later on, for sure. I've walked the holy path. Devoted servant. Okay, I'm almost a devoted servant. I think, I wonder what comes after that. Is it Paragon of Virtue? Please tell me. Yes, it is. Please, because, you know, I want to... How much is this going to cost me? And does it bring me anything? You become the Order's patron. A holy order's patron is king of our emperor who shares their faith and whose realm contains their capital. The patron may call upon the support of the holy order against religious enemy for free instead of paying piety. Not all holy orders have a patron. Uh, no, let's keep that piety for other stuff. For the time being, at least. Okay, the wife is pregnant. Great. And then right away we're going to use that child for a alliance right so they're allied with france now we're like in the mediterranean and we have such an influence here it's pretty cool these guys are probably terrified blessed be god he converted okay who 
Who, what? Okay, it's the peasants. I'll let them just have their way for now. Okay, so... Is Damascus going to convert? No, it hasn't converted yet. 4,200, wow. From 260 levies in Socotra to this. Put that in perspective. Like, look how things have changed. Right? Hanifa. Okay. We got a daughter. Not the best option, but... Kingdom of Bulgaria. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna... Oh, perfect. We can actually marry with the Kingdom of Bulgaria as matrilineal. That's great. That's awesome. We got the Bulgarians now. So that means that, you know, we have a pretty solid alliance for the time being. And uh, again, look, when I get, when I get this, uh, when I get this uh, Cassis Belly for this kingdom of Egypt, I'm telling you things are going to change drastically for us. Look at that. That's beautiful. You know, who would have thought... That we would have, we'd be, you know, deep into Syria after having started as Socotra, right? At this point, maybe we should go for a world conquest. No, I'm joking. I think it'd be too late because you got to really expand quick if you want to pull that off. And uh, it's a tough one, I'll tell you that. These guys are considered our inferiors. I think what I would do here is I'd set up a rally point in Cairo since it's ours. And then I will immediately, then on, just, uh, you know, go for kind of an attack, right? Okay, let's see. Is there anything I can do to increase my devotion? Like, can I send him a gift? No, it's not going to do anything. Can I? What should I do? I mean, can you wage war against this guy? <laughs> Where is he anyways? Where would he be? Anyways, so let's just keep going. Okay, you are not married. I'm not married. What happened? My wife died. Okay. Oh, I need something. I need someone who's older and preferably someone who's available to get married as soon as possible. Kingdom of oh, no. Thing is, there's this high chief, but we also she's the high chiefess. We can. Would we have a claim on this place after? Chances of having children. Still possible. Let's do it. Maybe. Okay, excellent. She has you know the sizable levies too. Who comes after her? Definitely not me. Anyways, hopefully she can bear children. Otherwise, we're going to have to play with a female character. It's not the end of the world. They're, it's like the penalty is like minus 10. And it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I don't mind the challenge. but Okay, so I got... I think I'm gonna have to get let go of Socotra. That's what I'm gonna let go of. Or let me see where else, what what did I get? What's the territory that I got? Hulais. Okay, I can get rid of that. Granted, low noble. Okay. Now I got cousins. Which le which realm is gonna be lost? Hold on. I'm gonna tell this guy to convert. If he doesn't, then oh, he did. Kind of wanted to imprison him so we can revoke his title. You know what? Let's go back and do that. Revoke title. Sheikhdom of Hauran. He's gonna accept. We don't want to lose this Sheikhdom. I'll grant it to someone who doesn't like me. Okay. 
Here, take it. I just don't want to lose that realm, right? So people might think I'm a tyrant, but ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm trying to keep my realm together. They don't understand that. The Byzantine Empire is in a civil war, I think. In the war, okay. Sorry. What's going on exactly? Oh, some guy has a claim on the... Uh, the Byzantine Empire. I mean, look at the number of attackers. They're slim. Who are these guys? If I were to wage war on them here, they're still considered inferior. I wouldn't risk that, though, but it would be nice to conquer Egypt, though. We'll call a hunt. Now this guy's a claimant. He's who is he? Who is he? Is he my brother? My cousin. He's a claimant. Oh yeah, I I, I don't have a brother. I forgot. And uh, okay. Monthly tyranny, because, you know, we just did a tyrannical act. Now, let's do the piety. Okay, clergy opinion. Church and state. Okay, level of devotion impact. That's what we need. 32, he's still young. Maybe if we convert places to, uh, you know, our religion, that will help us out a little bit. I'm not sure if that's how it works. Okay. Hey boy, the abbesses are kind of done here. <laughs> no, I'm sick. Excellent work, Haviba. Okay. Let's attack these guys again. Why are we sitting idly by when we can be going to war, right? Keep an eye out on the factions. I'm going to check that. Okay, there's nothing significant against me. Ha'el. We're Ha'el. Not sure what it is. Okay. So just take the desert, basically. Look at that. I, I really like the geography here. It's beautiful. Or the terrain. Okay, I'm no longer ill. That's amazing. Um, perfect. Is my wife going to get pregnant or no? I honestly think I'm going to request a divorce. Spend some piety, but look, I don't think so. I don't think at that age. Yeah, she was great for the... Uh, she was great for... The alliance, but that's... Uh, and then we marry someone who's chaste. Great. Do we request another divorce? <laughs> I mean, it's... M Let's try to seduce her. Hold on. Seduce. No, not even. What if we romance her? No, huh? Zero percent chance. What if we sway her? I'm going to try like a year. If it doesn't work out, then I'm going to go for somebody else. Okay, so these guys are capturing the desert here. I feel like some of my vassals are trying to take their territory right now. Let me see. Then I'll see it here. So, who's controlling what? At this point, it's hard to tell who's... W Anyways, <laughs> everyone's attacking them at this point. Like, the Abbasids are done for. I think they've, you know, they're... Uh, they're completely eliminated as a as a political power. My prison of Taliban has given birth to a son. Since the little one's part of the... Uh, dynasty, he should be blessed with a good name. Sure. Okay. 
Okay. Completely taking over the desert here. Oh, I'm not liking the fact that she's chased. Wait, who's raiding us? Not anymore. Nobody is. Okay. You know what? We'll go for their capital. Why not? I can't actually. I'm going to lose. I just kind of want to face them in battle so I can get some some form of devotion or one way or another, right? It's the devotion that we need. And we got some prisoners too. Okay, let's see. I think I'll see it here. Okay, I can unlock the faithful perk. I think we're gonna live to see a Cassis Belly. That you know, a, a kingdom Cassis Belly. That's what I want. Been wanting that for a while. We're gonna use that for Egypt, obviously. Yeah, are these his allies? I believe so. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So we're going to go meet his allies down there. What an unnecessary way to take casualties. Sure. It will be easier to convert faith in Sheikh Tamar. Yeah, let's do that. Where are they heading to? Probably towards. Okay, yeah, towards my capital. Maybe just attack them here. You know, get some piety. Or devotion. Sometimes when you fight against members of a different religion, you get devotion, right? So, just at least one battle. Oh, we got some loyal allies. Okay, so we won this for sure. Okay, this band. Okay, so look at the, all those ransoms now that people are asking for, and then look at us here. So we're, we've pushed into the desert, and uh, um, so I'm gonna give this away, obviously, of course. Uh, You know, and uh, let's see here. Yemeni, he's Yemeni, that's great. I like how everyone's kind of fearful of me at this point. I really like that. We're still far away from being, you know, paragons of virtue, though. Sure. The wife is pregnant. Great. What we needed. Please be a boy. I mean, I'm only 37, but if she doesn't bear me a boy, I think it's going to end in a divorce. It will be my pleasure. I will look forward to this. I'm going to keep this kid in prison. You know what? Convert him. Let him accept. And then you know what? The remainder of the uh, prisoners we're going to execute. Let's see. In fact, hold on, no. Let's execute her. We'll keep some more. Execute her. Maybe let her go. Execute. Keep our dread up, you know? People will not will reconsider if they want to join any kind of uh, any sort of faction against us. 
Ah, uh, another daughter. Okay, so time for a divorce. I feel like Henry VIII here. All right. We'll keep our options open here. I'm definitely gonna have to divorce you. I'm sorry, but you know we're looking after our best interest. I'm sorry. No, we go. Let's say relevance. She's apparently ugly. The character. She's twenty nine. Chances are medium. I better start checking more. Let me read. Oh, hopefully she's not chased as well. She's a fornicator though. Okay. Anyways. Well, we're not marrying her out of love. We're marrying her for political reasons. Call to war. Sure. Okay. We're getting closer to Paragon of Virtue. These guys are attacking the Byzantines. They're quite getting they're getting emboldened here. Probably gonna kill them in an ass assassination or something. Religious efficiency efficiency. Okay. When would be another time for a pilgrimage? Not until five years from now. I think I can pull it off. Oh, I would love to capture Egypt. That would be amazing. Bahrain is forming here. If I can get Egypt, honestly, that would be really good. Look at that. Look at our levies. 5,500. I've. Okay, the wife is pregnant. That's good. She's terrified. I think everyone is. This guy's a dictator. But I mean, he's holding it. He's holding it together. I mean, he's uh, okay. This is at this point. This is the point where I start kind of like everything starts getting easy once you, you know, you settle and you 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 know. You, uh not another daughter. For the love of God. All right. Well. She'll be, you know, a non-matrilineal marriage. What are you going to do? We'll marry her to this guy, probably. Of Multan, sure. He has lover's pox, though. Anyways, uh, we'll probably establish a foothold on India because there's a holy site. Country conversion speed plus 50%. We'd be able to convert the whole world like that at that rate. Journaler. Let's do... Let's do a run, right? Because if he goes for a run, okay, I want his forces to be depleted. And I'm going to try to murder him before I go to war with him. Right? So, where are my allies? We got some significant amount of allies. It'll be my pleasure. Okay making a fool of herself <sighs> hmm. we're just gonna attack Egypt very soon once we can get Paragon of Virtue and we're two years away from a pilgrimage i don't want to jinx it but hopefully we don't die right that's uh, getting close and if i can pull off the pilgrimage i think at that point uh we'll get paragon of virtue so come on november december so then one more year after this that will be the first kingdom Cassus Belly. You know what? In that case, 
let's start a murder scheme. Let's get rid of this guy because he's quite powerful. He's kind of in the way. If we can just get him out of the way, kill him. Okay, let's see how much support this gets us. Okay, so one more. Because he has alliances, right? His alliances are kind of scary. 69% not bad. Uh, why am I ill? Please, I hope I don't die. Excellent work, Habiba. So, not, not, that's not the time to get ill right now. Be my pleasure. Okay. Is my guy still ill? Delightful. Had an interesting conversation. Shouldn't he not be partying if he's ill? Okay. We're gonna found that. Should I found that holy order? Maybe we might use them. We'll use those guys. You know? We'll use them. Borrow gold from holy order. If you don't repay, I'm not gonna borrow gold from them. What the? We don't need it. How is this going? I'm just worried that my guys might die suddenly. I'm glad I'm well again. Okay, good. Good. Would the mood not serve you well? Okay. Kill this guy, who's gonna get his heir? He's a decent, I mean, he's a good marshal. He's good on marshal, but we'll attack him right away. You know, once this uh, plan is done. Anyone willing to join? Let's see if we can. 23 months from now. Come on. That was not the time. Death! Oh. Now is definitely not the time. Maybe we increase the dread. And then they'll get out of that. It's, it's, an, it's, it's insane how... They continue to stay in those. They're not. Okay, so they, they constantly. They constantly remain in those uh, factions. It's annoying. I, I just need to go to a war without a faction looming behind me. Okay, though, I think now we're going to be good. I want this butchers guy to just disappear. You know? The butcher guy. Okay, so the guy we're trying to kill. Uh, so maybe court intrigue is not going to change. No, it's terrible. Uh, what if we changed our spy master? We hired someone a little bit more competent. No, he's the best out there, so we're not going to fire him. Unlock this perk. Radiant. I think I can go on a pilgrimage now. Let me see. Not yet. Because I'm at war. With who? Who am I at war with? Yeah, so I can't go yet. Because we accepted this war. Um, okay, so in the meantime, let's see what I got myself. Sheikh the Mascot. Yeah, I don't need that. Wait, I can give something else to somebody else. Sana Ta'if. I don't need a Ta'if. I'm going to give that to somebody with high marshal. They can do something about this. Maybe this guy. Hey, here, take it. Cool.
and we're going to attack Egypt finally. Sixty-two percent. Let's hope it goes through. We'll get this guy, Sheikh Badr. He's gonna. Oh boy. S On decline, we lose fame, so we'll have to go. We're getting close to Paragon of Virtue, anyway. So bon appetit. Hope he dies. It must have been something he ate. Perfect. Now the other guy doesn't have uh, the alliances that this guy had. And boy, if we can get ourselves Egypt again, like I said, we'll be unstoppable. An independence faction. Okay. So we got to be very careful with how... Insight in heaven, in the heavens. Okay, I'm Paragon of Virtue. And the wife is pregnant. Okay, things are looking kind of good. Let's not jinx it, though. I think now is the time we attack the kingdom of Egypt. And we capture it. And then we can get, obviously, we can get our allies to join us. I'm going to call upon all of them. Each and every one of them. Why not, right? Anyone who can contribute to the War Score Prince German or German of Bulgaria. Anybody who can contribute in one way or another is going to be needed here. This is a much, much, much needed um, moment right now for their military. So let's slow things down a little bit. And you know what? Let's get ourselves that holy order. That's not at any cost. That's why we did that, right? Forgot about those guys. Okay, so these guys are, you know, stupid for even attempting to, you know, attack us here. But yeah, so. Is that all we got? What happened to all of our levies? Okay. Why didn't they not all come together? I don't get it. Okay, anyways. Okay, so now they're here. They are perfect. And uh, again, so let's hi let's hit them in Giza. Now th the thing is, they're probably gonna start like running away and stuff. This is where it gets annoying. You you start playing, you know, cat and mouse in the desert. But uh, okay, I gain a hundred per piety. Kind of want them to attack my allies. Yeah, I kind of really want them to do that because then what we can do is station the besiegers here. And maybe if they can attack my allies here. Yeah, that's good. You see? <laughs> it can buy me time to catch up to them. Okay, no, it's not. So my allies got stack wiped here. Okay, but other some of my other allies are coming in. Who are these guys? The bar. Okay, so they're Bulgarians. And so... If I can just decimate their armies somehow. Your culture discovered city planning. That's amazing. I just really hope they don't go to Mecca. Oh my lord. Oh. How I hate having the Saladin Emirate. You know what? This guy is pretty powerful. She's pretty powerful. Let's bring her on our side. Right? So a marriage with her would be really good. Okay, cool. Now, are these guys going to travel to the to uh, Mecca? That's I think that's what they're going to do. So I think it would be nice maybe to catch up to them before they do. Okay, no, actually they're not. They're trying to protect Egypt. Smart of them. Problem is, is that our capital is completely exposed. I liked Medina because it was in 
inside the kind of mountain range so you can avoid you know invaders and stuff like that mecca is just you know a coastal city well i mean it's not a coastal city but you know what i mean the county here to the modest malik nicholas yeah, but okay sure but like we're at war here can you not go to war please so the thing is though these guys are distracted by other wars and which means that they're going to get depleted Look at this, this is beautiful. I might actually one day take... No, I'm not giving you a white piece. I might actually one day... Take Egypt and turn it into my capital. Uh, not Egypt, Cairo. And I think Cairo would be great as a capital. Okay. Maybe we should stick to the coastal areas for now. Actually, hold on. This area is so developed. I mean, it's amazing. Good thing is, is we're the pieties. You know what? Look, I honestly think the best thing right now is to actually attack them. Maybe somewhere around Giza. Yeah, perfect. They're they're falling for it. Oh, they're completely they're completely trapped here. Okay, yeah, they're trying to run away. And one contingent or one group left. And so look at this. We're at 78. We stack wiped them. I think I'm going to take the casualties to just attack them. It's worth it. How many are we going to lose? 169. Not that bad. They'll replenish. Oh, but they're coming from here now. Uh, all right. Alexandria. And then we can take Alexandria. Pretty valuable city. Okay, this is, hopefully this is a stack wipe too. 90%. Yeah, it is, I think. No, it's not. Never mind. Let's just take Alexandra. We might as well. Probably going to be at war with other groups maybe after this. Now I can unlock Zealous. Okay proselytizer because we're going to try to convert people to our religion okay um sure let's do jaffa jaffa and they're coming back they're relentless hopefully they can come down to giza yeah these guys will follow me. I think this battle will end it. Okay, we won. We won. That was fairly straightforward and now we've managed to capture Egypt and uh, I think we're on a significant roll at this point. This is, uh, let's see what the faction situation is like. Okay, obviously I'm going to have to, you know, give away some territory. Like, I don't want this. Uh, although, you know, fruit orchards. But, uh, no, I don't see myself no benefiting from this so I'll give this away what can I give away to a swan is not you know really kind of I'm not big on it let's see no this guy is not even our religion and not even our culture Saifullah no he's mushriki though different foreign culture no reduce any possible reason for penalty anything anything even if it's a minus five you don't want it to come haunt you in the end right alexandria is not mine 
I have to convert some people, by the way. He's going to probably for be forced to accept this. It's probably the descendant of the tool in it. Yeah, it is. I'll force him to... Oh, he was basically the... He was the king of Egypt. Now he's our... Uh, that's to be God. The other guy converted. I can arrest this guy. and I can imprison him. I'll do it later. I don't want to spark a revolt just yet. Um, but look at this. Look at this. Starting from Socotra. Which, by the way, I don't need this anymore. Who is this? this? You know, I don't... Who is, oh, these are the... Okay, that makes sense. That's the... Those are like the the holy order. Even they dress in that. Okay, so I got myself a pretty cool holy order. What other territory should I get rid of? What do I what do I have? Where is that? Oh yeah, I'll give that away. Camel breeders. Uh some neat things you can build in here, but it's okay. Who's this guy? You can give him this. And then what else? What else should we give away? I kind of want to give away Socotra because it's kind of meaningless at this point. But it also has some symbolism to it. I can give away, honestly, I can give away Sana'a. It's definitely not a kind of no, it doesn't it's not a it's not a super rich area, so let's see. No. What if what about stewardship? Uh, this person has a lot. Okay, we'll grant it to someone a lowborn perhaps. Samir. I like that. Okay, so he became my vassal. Now look at that. When I fix the levies, we're around, you know, 7,000 or whatever. So can I become the emperor? You can, okay. I can definitely become the emperor. Cannot usurp the primary type of someone fighting a war. How long are you going to fight the war for? Okay, once that war is done, we're, we're basically an empire. So I'm going to wait a little bit and see before I declare myself an empire. Okay. Okay, ransom. I'm just going to wait for him to finish that war so we can... I want to usurp. You can usurp the butcher. Okay. What about... Can I create? Titles can be created. No. Wh how much do I need to create this empire? You only have 77. Okay, I need to take more territory from them. But also, I need to make sure that I take away all the territory. They don't have a single territory left before I can usurp it. So there's still ways to go. The most important thing, though, however, is that, you know, I'm in the best spot right now. I've, uh, you know, I've gotten, I've got myself Egypt now. Ideally, I kind of want to, I would want to revoke it from him. The Tulanid em Emirate. Or, sorry. The Sheikhdom of Fayyum, but I don't know. At the same or at the same time, I kind of want this place as my capital. What would I? What would happen if I tried to revoke it? He 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 let he'd give it to me, but there would be a cool down of you know of tyranny because I have you know that perk here. I could technically take Egypt, uh, Cairo, and turn it into my capital, but I also feel like that would be a little bit too tyrannical right now so maybe i think i should like relax and let things simmer down a little bit because we've been fighting wars and i want to see what my vassal situation is like 
there are a lot of vassals under me, right? So, um, you know, probably going to have to do some realm management eventually, create duchy titles and kind of please different segments, organize it in a neat way that you have little amount of vassals below you because now it's kind of a mess. And then you'll be able to know who's what and who's where. Okay. I'll let you go on one condition. I mean, you can convert to our religion and that's it. You know, so Nestorianism is becoming a serious, you know, religion to contend with. So I, uh, I like this. You know, I like where we started from. Again, this island and then all of this now. You know, all of this. So, um, and including Egypt. I don't know who's next, what we're going to do next. Uh, the Byzantines are definitely, uh, let me see, my grandson. Byzantines are probably at this point, you know, they're, luckily we got a, got a male, pro, uh, you know, son, we got a male heir here, you know, uh, the grandson is, is next in line after my daughter. So it, it's not the end of the world if a woman uh, rules in this game because I like how they, you know, I mean, there were many important historical figures who were women across every region. So I don't see why it should be a problem. I know there is a penalty. Who cares, though? It's just the minus 10 and it's fun. It's al We can alternate. At least the most important thing is that I got a good line of succession here. How are my alliances? We got some good alliances. As you can see, when we fought with Egypt uh, uh, and we captured Egypt, that was great. This conquest of Egypt was was amazing. Changed the tide of this game. And now even the Byzantines are not as strong as we are. So hypothetically speaking, let's just say we go for a war with them. We can easily, easily challenge them. We can take the Duchy of Lebanon. We can take Cyprus. We can take Crete. We can even go into Libya. Uh, there's, you know, options, right? That's the good thing. We can attack these guys again. You know, seize the jury territory. Get that king, get some kingdoms. The rest of the kingdom of Syria. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's the kind of map gore here that makes this going to be slower because you can't just capture it all at once. Either way, I'm really happy with kind of the result where we got in so far. And um, I mean, it's great. Like even... The, the, the kingdoms that I was once kind of like begging to marry with me are now the ones, you know, that are, you know, below me. So I think we're, if I wouldn't be surprised if we're the most powerful force in the game right now as we stand. Let's see England. England is not even as strong. So I think, yeah, I'm going to stop it for now. And look, you get the uh, independence faction is triggered, which is good. You're going to have an independence war in Egypt. That's awesome. And they're probably all going to be the Muslim ones. Uh, that's cool. That's a reason to revoke. So there's going to be a Muslim revolt against us in Egypt. And uh, we'll probably crush it starting maybe from Cairo because the vassal who controls it there is going to be on my side. So I'm going to stop it for now. And then I'm going to continue later. I'm going to come back with more content. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And see you in the next episode.